Chapter 12 The Secret Base of the Saboteurs Zishan embarked on his mission to find the file in his father's room, a mission filled with tension and danger. He scoured every nook and cranny, but the file was nowhere to be found. Perhaps his father had taken it with him. As he conducted his search, he stumbled upon a set of keys in one of the drawers. With these keys, Zishan gained access to more drawers and cupboards, intensifying his quest for the elusive file. He had to be cautious, constantly watching the door to ensure no one caught him. Mr. Aga had even placed a spy among the household employees, and Zishan couldn't risk his mother discovering him either. Fortunately, he noticed his mother engrossed in the kitchen, giving instructions to the cook. Zishan felt the urgency of his mission as he scanned the room. He was determined to avoid detection and prayed that no one would stumble upon him. Finally, his persistence paid off when he opened a drawer containing the coveted file. With a vigilant eye on the door, he swiftly retrieved the file, closed all the drawers, and returned to his room. His next challenge was to find a way to photocopy the file without arousing suspicion within his household. After careful planning and timing, Zishan managed to hide the file successfully and slip out of the house. The nearest photostat machine was located at a nearby general store. He entered the store and requested a copy of each page from the file. However, just as the first page was being photocopied, the ominous figure of Blackman Perfume entered the store. With his blonde hair, cat-like eyes, thorn-like mustache, and an enigmatic face that seemed foreign yet clad in Pakistani attire, he approached Zishan, striking up a conversation in Urdu. Although he struggled with the language, he managed quite well. Blackman Perfume personally collected all the copies while the original file was handed to Zishan, who recoiled from touching it. As the photocopying process concluded, he settled the bill himself and then beckoned Zishan to follow him. Zishan, his nerves strained but determined not to go with him at any cost, clutched his bicycle and made his way homeward. He discreetly returned the file to its rightful place and retreated to his room, lying on the bed as he contemplated his actions. Had he made the right choice, or had he made a terrible mistake? Zishan grappled with his inner turmoil, knowing that he needed to inform his father about the situation as soon as he returned home. He had acted out of necessity, believing that his actions were necessary to expedite measures against the saboteurs, preventing them from exploiting the grand plan. Zishan intended to confess to his father and let him decide the course of action. In the meantime, he pretended to visit his friend's house and enlisted Tarek's company. Together, they set off on their bicycles, their destination sector Z. Zishan had a hunch that this sector held the secret headquarters of the saboteurs. He had previously ventured into this area, alone or with Tarek, examining the surroundings for clues. When he was kidnapped, he had noted certain signs in the vicinity, and now he was determined to turn his suspicions into concrete evidence. As they cycled through the streets of Sector Z, Zishan abruptly halted, gesturing for Tarek to do the same. They had reached a specific street where a red jeep, belonging to Blackman Perfume, was parked within a large house. Zishan's heart raced with the realization that he might have discovered the secret base of the saboteurs. <laughs>